Okay. Um, well, do I have to introduce myself? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am um, Shoka Shahani. I am Poya's um, small sister slash um, creative writer for his business AMG. And I am here to discuss with Raf and Poya the process that, tra- that they went through for transference. And to begin with, um, I understand that there's a really funny story about how you guys met, and it involves another character that was in the film, Krishan. Krishan. So yeah, would you like to explain explain how that happened? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, you met with him first, or so why don't you explain, Raf, you explain the first section yeah, of Yeah, I think the first I'll time I heard the name Poya, um, is it Poya, how do you pronounce Poya. it? Poya. Poya. Uh, was <laughs> about a year before I yeah. met Krushan outside Costa Coffee, uh, my neighbor Dan mentioned he had a friend who was doing some VFX for big movies like Gravity, and I just thought, okay, Dan's on one today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan's my electrician as well. <laughs> and then I think I met Krushan outside one day a few years ago, and he offered to paint my flat. Uh, so then I didn't see him for a few years, yeah. and I'm walking towards Hendon Tube, and there he is with a big smile on his face and loads of energy. And he says, Raf, how you doing? I said, oh, good, I've just this, that, and what are you up to? And he goes, well, I'm working with this company, and it's amazing, and sorry, of course, I'm Italian, and that's my mum calling. <laughs> <laughs> so I've hung up on her, she's going to have a freak out. Um, <laughs> um, and he was like, yes, no, have you got a minute? I want to tell you about what we're doing. And it kind of, I was getting snippets of what he was saying. Um, he was working with this guy, Poya, again, and I kept hearing this name, thinking, this guy sounds interesting. He's like the godfather of... <laughs> cost a coffee or <laughs> so I thought I better, I better get a coffee here so I got co- I said Christian I feel like you need to tell me something let me get a cup of coffee <laughs> he sat down and he talked for half an hour oh and uh, it, it just felt right everything about it at the right time I had spoken to him about he mentioned Poi and I said well actually I'm looking for some post-production I'm almost finished on my film he said you, you let's set up a meeting and I think the following Sunday, yeah, I met you. Yeah, yeah, that was a. I mean, the the cool thing is, uh, me and Raf had met here and there throughout the years, just kind of said hi, but we didn't really know of each other. And this was sort of the meeting of right, let's actually sit down and let's <laughs> see who Ra- I wanted to Raf is. And I've heard a lot about the films that he's worked on, so I was very excited to have that sit down, uh, a proper official sit down with Raf. So I was super excited to have that, and. When we met, it was, it was just easy, wasn't it? it was, we just yeah, got along. Easy. We clicked. The ideas were all the same. We had this uh, culture. I think we, both of us, have grown grown up in in terms of the creative and the Hollywood sort of culture, and we both had that. We understood working with really bad people <laughs> and working with great people and what it means to have to work with someone that really understands it. So we quickly gelled and yeah. our ideas really gelled and um there was also on top of that <coughs> hollywood culture thing that mm-hmm. we'd dabbled in mm-hmm. um there was an there was an immediate mutual respect yeah. um there was they felt like there was a lot of integrity there mm-hmm. which is what i always look for and uh and then on top of that which is you know runs parallel with integrity for mm-hmm. me is the talent and mm-hmm. once he showed me his work i was totally sold at that point it was the same with me when I saw Raf's work, the way he works, his family, his his work eth- ethics was very similar to mine in that we have kind of a killer work eth- ethic. When we have to do something, we get onto it and we do it. And I think that's what worked really well. And obviously, the transference, the film uh, Raf, Raf created, it's, it's great. It's covering issues that haven't previously been covered in in films uh, and the way he's covered them is just is phenomenal so i was very excited to join him and jump onto this project uh, i think the other side of it uh, of just the film <coughs> was the fact that we liked the idea of developing something outside mm. our front door mm. Mm. and realizing that the resources around us were interesting and available rather than having to go to la la land mm. you know we just found mm. it at our doorstep and that was what i really wanted it was to a, l- a local team yeah. Really, yeah. I mean, we live very close to each other, uh, and yeah, that that was another part of aspect of it that it's a very local team, and we're doing something so big, but using local talent, and I, I mean, it, it will go far. I have no doubt in that. 
Yeah, I think it, it quickly went from there to Poya saying, I'm a stuntman. Yeah. Like, oh, oh yeah, okay, that was uh, hilarious. <laughs> and, uh, and then I was a bit cautious about putting you mm. in the film because I'd never seen his work as an actor. Mm. But the, the main thing was to see that he was someone who could listen. And so I think you did a rehearsal with Simone, we yeah. tested it out. Yeah. And he's, I think you can talk about from your perspective. I mean, yeah, for me, that giving Raph giving me the opportunity to actually act in the film was, was huge for me because previously I had done some acting training with Kevin Spacey but never actually been featured in, in a full-on feature project. So I was nervous, but I had all the right sort of tools in my head of listen and move forward and I really wanted to do something or deliver on on a piece that would reflect on the other actors who were in the film. It felt quite natural the way we were delivering uh, our And work. it felt natural and the guidance that you gave to me was really helpful throughout the film. Uh, I mean not throughout the film, throughout the scene that I was in it was... It was very raw wasn't it? Very raw, uh, raw and th I mean working with, with your wife Simone that was that that was great. So bouncing off that kind of energy that she had when she was performing, I had to bounce the same kind of energy mm -hmm. back. It made me perform better. So that was that was a great opportunity and very was thankful. Was that scene improvised? Was that scene improvised? Or? It was. We had a a general idea. Raf gave us a general idea where the okay. direction of that conversation needs to go and how it needs to pan out. And it was between me and Simone to kind of on the spot. And we rehearsed for like half an hour 40 minutes yeah. and you brought you both brought in the aspect of the cultural differences which is what yeah. i wanted yeah because it was a mirror of my life mm -hmm. yeah and not my life as rap but as the character what perhaps mm -hmm. both um, yeah. and it was the same for me it was a uh, the character i was given was a huge reflection of my previous experiences in my, in my own life in my own love life and so on so it was easy to bring those emotions back to the front and deliver that for that sh for that shot so yeah, very very interesting. Uh, it's been a, uh, it's been amazing just working on this, co-producing on this, and working on the post-production side. It's been a, a great journey, and really excited to see the final final mm. edit. And yeah, you, you brought up a point. Sorry, if I just jump in mm -hmm. here, that um, you said you brought your life history to your character, yeah. and I think a lot of the actors in this film have done that, and that's mm. where the honesty lies terms of performance I'm not sure if we've made an amazing film but from an actor's point of view I think everybody's come from a place of absolute truth and it's almost been a, a platform of expression yeah so you came from meeting your neighbor's mate that asked if he can paint your house to meeting Poya yeah. a yeah. creative <laughs> business um, yeah. man <laughs> to uh, him getting beaten up in your film which is great <laughs> it's fantastic <laughs> yeah. yeah so like what's the future what do you see in the future between you two is it is it more filmmaking or are you going to go more into the business side are you be definitely more future? filmmaking i think between me and raf we've got the right idea and perspective to create unique films and we've got unique ideas between us that we want to produce and get out there mm. so Finally, for me, having someone as creative as myself uh, and in the industry with the backing that Raf does, mm. it's just brilliant because we can we can just work together and yeah. create wonderful projects moving forward. Uh, uh, on top of that, we I feel like we've got the conviction to uh, like a project and then follow it through to the end mm. rather than just talking about oh it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, there must be so rare finding people like that you like so much. You just click straight away, yeah. same work ethic, yeah. same sort of cultural background. And yeah, the fact that you guys actually get along. Which That's helps. an interesting yeah. point that you say there about the cultural background because mm. you, you're of Iranian descent. Iranian descent, Iran, half Iranian, half Kurdish descent. Yeah. And you're Italian. And I'm Italian, and I think there <laughs> are massive parallels, aren't there? Mm. Huge parallels between mm. Iranians and Italians. In very Italian strong uh, family culture, family very ties. Very so. Uh, what else? Yeah, do you think? Culturally, food wise, food, yeah, that's <laughs> what I say, Italians <laughs> love food, <laughs> Iranians love their food, yeah, so yeah, yeah there's yeah. there's a it's really rare, but when it happens, it's wonderful, and I'm did just so it, glad. Did you yeah. feel it in your stomach? Was it sort of a gut feeling that you guys knew instantly, like, did this is great, this is a good, yeah, and, and it took some time to be like, I'm not sure, it's it's really, I mean, he's he's really good, and then it took the next time or so, I was like, no, he's real, he's uh, you know, he's a uh, he sticks to what he says and he does what he's. What he what he says he'll do, yeah. and that's rare to come by in this field. So yeah. that's some, is that Very something rare. you need to look out for then? 
you need to find someone that actually says says what they would like to do make sure there's something that corresponds with you what you want to do yeah. and they actually do it and they actually, and they actually follow through that's that's a big yeah that's a, that's rare to find yeah yeah and for me um it takes a long time to trust somebody to work with mm. and uh and i'm always cautious but uh with boya and krishan as well i felt there was you know i was like able to move forward quickly and mm. go no these guys are serious and we're learning together we've got so much to learn together yeah, i think the aspect of learning and continuing to learn and never understand that you're you're a master of something no the fact that raf's got the mentality that he wants to continue learning new things and i've got the same mentality it just works together so well that we're learning as we move forward as we create more and more projects we're constantly learning throughout them so yeah that's another Do you find your work ethics is that through trial and error is it just through just gradual um experience that you've learned to work like this or what sort of advice would you give people to work this hard i mean it's obviously quite hard for young people to do this <laughs> find something you're passionate about yeah. i mean it's that yeah and it's also find people that you can work with mm. because if you've got an idea and you can't explore it you're on the wrong table yeah mm. you need to put something forward to know whether it's going to work or not and boy is supreme at this i can put something forward and he'll he'll give it the space it needs for me to explore he respected the fact that you know i'd I'd put a lot of my life into this film, so mm. he said, you know, do what you need to do. And he'll ju he'll nudge me left and right if something's not quite right, especially in the VFX and grade and all that stuff. And uh, it's just having a free environment to be creative. That's it. That it's, it's the same way. It's that mutual respect that we have for each other of understanding that it's one vision to create this film. And, and I'm here for this project to support and make sure he delivers exactly his mm. vision. And you know that's I think that's why we work so well. You have this mutual respect to each other, and that's one thing that really goes far for young people is finding someone that you can work with. At the same time, finding that one person that you have that mutual respect for each other for the work that you do, mm. uh, and for the fields that you're each specialized in and great for. And uh, it becomes more than friendship. It's more than just saying, "Oh yeah, sure, we can do that." But as you said, like you know, you've got to get someone that actually nudges you to like realism. Yeah. Like, no, we can't do that. Yeah. I'm sorry, but no, we can't do that. You got it's beyond friendship, really. You can't yeah. really just be saying yes all the time because no. you like each other. No, no, we've yeah. got we've come to that understanding, yeah. haven't we? Even yeah. when I said it's, if it's all right, because Poya might introduce me to someone, and I say I've got a particular taste that I like, and mm. that it's, uh, if if it feels right, it's going to work, and if it doesn't, I hope you don't mind if I say no. Yeah. And he was like, absolutely, I'll stand, and and I feel like I would do the same with him yeah. if he let me, you know. That's absolutely, really important. Absolutely. I mean, that's we've become a very close team, I'd say, with in yeah. the past months, few months now. Yeah, yeah. And I think the yeah. other motto for us, because he's coming on board Contravento now, mm. is that, as in your writing, you're a fantastic mm. writer. You did one blog for us, yeah. and you know the quality that you delivered was superb. I'm not oh. just sitting here doing a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Saying to, <laughs> saying to everyone, you're brilliant. But <laughs> yeah, not everyone is. I can name <laughs> about 50 that weren't. But um, yours was quality. Oh, and you. I think from our Contravento point of view and AMG, mm -hmm. the talent is in the choice. Mm -hmm. The yeah. choices you make of what you want people to see or hear. Yeah. That's It's as simple as that. Doing it for the sake of finishing something mm -hmm. is not what I'm about. Yeah. Yeah. It's do I feel like I've said what I need to say, whether that's going to appeal to everybody or not, it's not my deepest concern. Mm. You have to say, you have to deliver on what you feel you need it out there from yeah. your perspective. Mm. And yeah, no, but it, it's, it's a great, it's a, it's a great journey. It's been a great journey uh, for young people who are listening, find something you're passionate about, which will then drive you to stay up to four in the morning working on it then find the right partner to push you in the right direction so you're not headbanging yourself into things that are not necessarily your field and that's what you need you need that support you know in this world you can't do any everything alone and when you collaborate with someone or a, a group or so on that's when thing magical things start happening mm -hmm. that's when you have that energy four in the morning three in the morning six in the morning to wake up and do something or to you know sleep late and to do something and that's what it's about i think that's find your I, s I look at it as find your band your boyfriend's in the mm. band yeah. find yeah. your band that you can jam with yeah. 
and when you jam stuff comes out yeah. absolutely it was your ethos wasn't it it's like um as you say you find filmmaking like a band playing jamming in a garage and you're finding the best notes to make the yeah. perfect song exactly and so you're just putting that in filmmaking it's the same thing which is great yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's a bit of trial and error yeah exactly yeah so is there any sort of red flags that you that you find in people that are just like oh certain things that they do that you kind of avoid once you once they've done it that you avoid them um promising one thing and delivering something else uh, hmm. right, okay. far too many people <laughs> like that out there I think. <laughs> i've learned to be adaptable because i probably expect a lot from people because i try to give everything mm. so you've got to manage your expectations a little bit uh, just make sure that the project is at the forefront of everything mm. um and uh, finding a way to make that happen and not letting it affect your life too much um yeah i think i think that's that's my thing mm. yeah um i mean people to kind of avoid negative negativity if there's negativity it's it kind of spreads into a team like um a drop of blood into a st into water over time the water becomes red it dilutes it and that's much like what negativity is within a group it takes time but over time it, it will affect everyone mm. so negative people uh, I try to over usually remove or not to get involved with too much because I know that's that's their mentality that's the Iranian and Italian thing yeah. you, re you remove <laughs> them <laughs> oh, just <laughs> remove them <laughs> not remove but you know uh, not be so close to them as yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, sound too close to yeah. <laughs> like the Iranian regime will remove you. Yeah. <laughs> we shall remove you. The Islamic, no, actually, no. <laughs> it's like the Sicilian regime. Um, I, uh, yeah, I just like it's harder for me as a filmmaker because I need, in terms of actors and even uh, DPs and editors, I need to have a relationship mm -hmm. that's creative. I can't just work. You're an editor, and I'm. A d it doesn't work like yeah. that. There's yeah. a there's an energy that we have that I have with my editor with my DP with my actors and if something gets in the way of that I feel it mm -hmm. and it affects the work so I have to find a way to turn that around and go okay because I've started working with them how does that negative energy work for me as a filmmaker can I use it in the film the answer has to be always yes how do I make that happen yeah. it's the responsibilities down to me to switch it around mm -hmm. rise above everything mm -hmm. and make it work if you're in early stages, you can make choices, but once yes. you're in, you have to make things work. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. I agree. Yeah, hundred percent. But that's why it's so important about having the right team. Mm -hmm. So. So you're becoming part of the Contro Contro Films. Contravento. Contravento Films. Mm -hmm. Um, what are you? Who are you going to be in that business? Are you just co-producer? I'll be. That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> He's like an. He'll be. You know. A partner, He's a partner and okay. somebody to help move projects forward, okay. mm -hmm. creative decisions. Uh, he'll definitely be part of the post production uh, on a technical level, the post production yeah. management of everything. Um, creative director, post production, co creative yeah. producer. Really. Yeah, yeah, creative it's producer. good not to have limits, really. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. or else it's you like, can't oh, labels. yeah, absolutely. So it's good, so you, you can bring any sort of your talent that you can yeah, skills yeah. onto the board. Maneuver between them for what's required at the time on the yeah. project. Yeah. So with regards to transference now, we're at the point where Poyer's um, doing the VFX. There's quite a few bits and pieces that need modification in the film and he's on that. So we've been here today going through it mm -hmm. and then we're going to sort of manage the colour grading. Colour correction and colour then correction. move on to colour grading. Mm -hmm. um, while we're doing that, the other side of the team is dealing with the music aspects oh. and the sound aspects. So it's all moving in heart simultaneously together forward. What's mad is I went out with Amelia in October, uh, excuse me, October, on the tube with a tiny little camera with an idea. And we're here now with a fully edited film, new contacts, new contacts. and things are growing from it in different aspects. You're working with her. Mm -hmm. He's doing other stuff and just from nothing. That's how nice things can grow. It's just uh, the thought of, it's just the idea of, I mean, just go out today with a camera. I've known this person. Let's just yeah. go out and see what happens. 
So there's no negative thoughts. There's no like, oh no, it's raining today. No, it's no, too no. cold. Can't do anything. Just get out and just do get it. out and do it and see what happens. And you guys are obviously a great example of what actually blossoms from those sort of from um, continuing those, just yeah, continuing it. just pushing forward. It's yeah. actually nice to uh, remember that because I, I just had a, a thought of when I was on my own on a motorbike. I had a camera clamped onto the <laughs> the and I was on my own thinking, what the hell am I doing? I'm <laughs> shooting a scene with me on my own in a helmet. What a, what a megalomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's actually worked within context of the film. Yeah, you know. yeah, you just didn't stop believing as corny as that sounds. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. carried on doing it. You need, you need an element of mad. Yeah. You do. Uh, I you can't really do. <laughs> There's no creative process without madness. Without madness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you need it. Bunch of madmen sitting here doing our thing. But uh, I think there's an element of what you just said is interesting because for young people especially, you feel lost, even in the middle of your project, you will feel lost and you feel like, am I doing this right? Is this gonna go anywhere? Am I wasting my time and everyone else's? You will feel that and that's, and I know that majority of filmmakers feel that, whether they're huge filmmakers or they're small filmmakers. Everyone goes through at some point where you're like, is this even worth my time or is this gonna be worth anyone's time? And the question to that is yes, and just keep moving forward and finish it. You're learning all the time. You're learning all the time. Just finish it. Get the finished product out there. So it's all about finishing. When do you think the uh, final film edit will be coming out? Um, I'm looking at 2029. <laughs> 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 if my mum stops calling me. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're hoping in the next w within the next month we're having a, uh, a screening, yeah. and within the I think within the month after or within the month of August we should be ready to I'm hoping by the end of August we have all the music licensed which yes, we're pretty much there it. VFX sound design sound design color grade credits out into the festival world hopefully and then for this one I think our goal is to sell it right yeah to put it on a big platform let's distribution see distribution and get it out yeah, there, yeah. And get people to yeah. see it what sort, right. sort of platforms like Vimo Netflix, Netflix, Amazon. Okay. So we'll apply to a, a variety because it's yeah. mental health and it's such a big issue right now. Mm -hmm. I believe many of the broadcasts would be interested in taking this on board. Now, whoever decides first will obviously get the. Get the yeah, we first. came from an artistic place, but now it's all about the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We started from the bottom. <laughs> it was a DSLR, but now it's all about cash <laughs> in a suitcase. <laughs> Not in the bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we'll do it. I think I managed to get my last film on Amazon and uh, iTunes and all that. Yes, so that's did. our yes, very minimum, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. But it'd be nice to sort of popular uh, platform. I, d I just don't think people pay extra anymore for films. They just like, I'll pay my subscription for yes. Netflix. Yes. What's on it? Unless Absolutely. the film has real precedence on, okay, I'll, I'm willing to pay it because yeah. it's just, it has that. Mm. Well, let's see. I, I think this project has real re leeway to get to really high places yeah um, let's just see what the final project and then we take it from there but very positive about it feel very positive good and uh, you guys obviously feel positive about the future oh yeah. more films going to be coming out yeah yeah from yeah. you two already so have a few ideas yeah don't we? It's good. discussing a few other ideas i think i'd love to get started on it i feel like I'll be fully committed once yeah. we've really yeah. finished this one and yeah. then I can jump in yeah. creatively because it actually, if I'm being honest, and I think you're the same, it takes it out of you. Mm. Mm. It's, it's taken seven months of my life, like the full fabric of my body has been invested and that's the other reason it's been great to meet Poyo because that takes a bit of the load off mm. on your own yeah. support, having yeah. your band members there. So where yeah. would you see yourself without Poya then? In my flat in Hendon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on my own, in the shed, writing another scene. And everyone's <laughs> going, you're crazy. You know? And I'm going, no, believe me, one day. Going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> this great moment where she walks across the bridge and I'm there and, uh, and they're like, okay, it's dinner time. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I think we can be, uh, yeah. Oh, that's really good. Uh, but, um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh, it, it's great actually. And I've learned a lot, even though you're my brother. Yeah. I didn't know much of this, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's a very positive way to end a Good Friday afternoon. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So from some like very motivational moments there as well. Yeah, 
to just push through just yeah. carry on whatever you're doing if yeah. it's creative or bureaucratic no just yeah. carry on well hopefully we'll come back with uh, part two of full completion yes. and film sold or something but we are, we are already fulfilled yeah. this far yeah. <laughs> yeah no it's great you guys obviously have a great energy next to each other you guys are almost look the same yeah, so it's that. actually quite funny <laughs> we actually get that quite <laughs> like, well you? actually just quickly to finish that that was one of the reasons I thought it'd be great because his character is like a projection of me mm. yeah. so that's why I thought I'm going to decide to have a go at the woman not him uh, because she's uh, laying into him and I'm th I want to protect him yeah. as I see him as me yeah Yeah. and that that's was, the that was a really yeah, sort yeah, of a yeah. universal yeah. universe moment oh, that's great you kind know? of dawn on his yeah oh. Yeah. Oh, great. But um, we do go home alone at night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you say. Unfortunately. Yeah. For <laughs> Not together. Yeah. Like, although we have been seen on my motorbike together, hugging. <laughs> Closely. Enjoy. Yeah. Safety yeah. first. With smiles. <laughs> With smiles. Yeah. <laughs> we look like Wallace and Gromit. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like Dom and Dom. Dom and Dom. Yeah. Dumb and <laughs> It's really warm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh great. Man. So yeah, okay. part two will definitely come up when you guys yeah. have finished and uh, the final products out. And yeah, it's been yeah. really interesting, a lot of fun really actually. Yeah, yeah More great fun stuff. To come. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So well, my name's Mishoko. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Well done for finishing it off like that.